Good morning and good afternoon to all. On behalf of Solution Plus team, I am pleased to welcome you all on today's session. Today is the third day of the Kathmandu specific training, training on e-mobility and also the last day of the virtual session. However, we'll, have, we'll be having in-person on-site visit tomorrow here in Kathmandu as a part of this training. This session is run as a Zoom meeting and so we will start off our session with basic housekeeping to make you all feel comfortable with the platform and share what's in store during our session. First of all, please note that the session is being recorded. The recording and the presentation will be available afterwards. We have muted everyone by default so that we'll, we won't be accidentally disrupted during the session. But when you talk, you want to talk later during the discussions or question answer session, just click the microphone icon in the bottom bar to mute or unmute yourself. If you encounter any challenges on that, please send a message to our host or co-host. As this is a Zoom meeting, you have the option to have your camera on and off. However, to minimize the disruption due to bandwidth, kindly switch off, the, switch off your camera meantime. Uh, and we will have question answer later during which you can switch it back on when you are speaking. If you have questions, please submit it via the chat box. You are welcome to use the chat box throughout the session for your comments and questions. We'll have a dedicated time for question answers in between the presentations. However, considering the time, we, we encourage you all to write your questions and comments in the chat box. And if time allows, we might be able to some to take some questions verbally as well. Let us see. To ease our discussion later, could we ask you to rename yourself with this, starting off your Zoom handle with your name, country, and then the affiliation from which organization, the ministry you are uh, representing, academia, institution, or NGO. Uh, we see this aiding us in knowing where the questions are coming from in the chat box. So while that is being done, we'd like to know you more and this give us a better picture of the participant in the session. Yeah, in the session. So we have a slide of question here. Tell us in which sector do you represent? So out of, we have 26, 27 people in the session and out of uh, uh, all, we have received the response from 14 so far. Maybe may I ask uh, my colleague from Solution Plus team to uh, take the screenshot of this screen? Uh, thank you. Next slide, please. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, today is the third day of the training. So let me quickly recap the first and second day of the training. On the first day of the Carfundo specific e-mobility training, uh, it was fo focused on e-mobility policy and planning. We had a presentation on different um, policy and planning aspect uh, from Nepal and, and from the Ministry of Physical Infrastructure and Transport, including other agencies. And we, ha we also had a, a panel discussion on the first day, and it was uh, very fruitful to uh, hear from uh, various governments. There, there were a federal government representative the provincial government representative and, uh, as well as the local government representative. And I'm sharing the um, slide response that we received in the first day. And um, uh, in it, what is the, uh, we asked the question with the person, what is the main challenge for the promoting in Nepal? And we received that um, it is due to lack of uh, political uh, uh, prioritization, lack of political will to prioritize the EV. And uh, we also uh, asked um, a similar question in the second day, that is yesterday, and, and there were two questions. Uh, is vehicle retrofitting a viable option in Nepal? And in that question, we received uh, from uh, 71 people, um, we received the uh, yes answer. That is, uh, colleagues are saying that uh, retrofitting is viable in Nepal. And the second question was an operation and maintenance of EG, EVs. And, uh, we received the response that uh, less EV, EVs operation and maintenance is less complicated and uh, requires less maintenance than IC vehicles. So for the today's session, Mr. Bursan Tuladar and myself will be your moderator. I am um, myself, Sankar Sharma. I am associated with uh, Clean Air Asia as a national transport coordinator. Uh, Mr. Bursan Tuladar is the board member of Saja Atayat and he is 
leading the initiative to introduce electric vehicle in Saja that fleet. Saja had recently signed an agreement to procure 40 e-buses, and there are plans to uh, procure the more. So uh, while um, introducing about today's session, we have five presentations in today's session. The first presentation will be from Ham Weekend, and um, which will be focused on charging station and technical standards, and um, followed by the presentation from NEA, which will be focused on planning and charging infrastructure in Nepal. Uh, and, and then the third and fourth presentation will be focused on charging infrastructure development in Nepal. And we'll uh, hear from colleagues from India and uh, South Korea about the cases from their country. Uh, then we'll conclude the session.